So today is Easter. Well, now it is. Um, but today I wanted to read to you all the Easter story. So, and how Easter came around. We know that Jesus died and he... He, he died on Good Friday, and we all know that, and then we all know that three days later, he rose again from the dead, but Satan, during those three days, thought he won. He thought he won the battle, and he was laughing because he thought he won the battle. So, John 20, verse 1, is where we read about the empty tomb, and it says, On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came out of the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark so and saw the stone removed from the tomb so she ran and went to simon peter and to the other disciple whom jesus loved and told them they have taken our lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him so peter and the other disciples ran out and came to the tomb The, the others ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloth, but rolled into a separate place. And then the other disciple also went in, and the one who had arrived at the tomb first, he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that had that had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned home. So Mary initially goes there early in the morning. I'm sure a lot of you know this, but Mary goes there early in the morning, and she finds that there's an empty tomb, and she immediately thinks. That somebody stole Jesus' body. That somebody took it from the tomb. And so she grabbed disciples. And they ran to the tomb. To find out information. And they were searching the clothes. And the reason they found that Jesus rose again is from the clothes. Because the clothes were like folded. And they were set aside. But they did not see a scripture. They did not know of a scripture prophecy that had to say that Jesus would come back to life. That's why they were confused at first. Is because they did not expect Jesus to come back to life because that was not in scripture. And Jesus never told them that he would come back. So that is the Easter story, ladies and gentlemen. Today on this Easter um, if you are not getting with friends and family, I would just ask you to pray. Jesus died and rose again. This is probably the most important holiday in our Christian faith. Just simply because Jesus died on the cross for our sins and he rose again three days later to conquer sin and death and to give us a chance at heaven. So today I would strongly encourage you to pray, to read the story of Easter. Yes, we just read it, but... Go your, by yourself and read it, the story of Easter, because it is a beautiful story. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. God bless. Have a great Easter.